What's going on guys? It's Max from MK Media. Uh, I just want to quick make this video. It's going to be completely about um, how to set up a campaign in Lemlist. Um, so I'm just basically not going to waste, waste any time and get right into it. So if you're familiar with the Lemlist um, interface, this is kind of what you're greeted with. This is almost like your dashboard, even though there really isn't any sort of a dashboard. I'm getting a call. I'll be right back. So what I was uh, saying is this is kind of the dashboard. Lemlist doesn't really have a dashboard. Uh, so this is kind of the next best thing. Uh, this is where you're going to be able to see, like, I don't know, things that you could be doing that... Um, Obviously, if these things aren't done, they won't have the check next to it. So it's kind of like a, all these things need to be in place before you can start rolling out your um, your campaign. So basically what we're going to be doing today is uh, setting up a campaign and um, yeah, just going through those steps. This is if you don't have a Lemlist account already, don't even bother watching this. Um, you can click off right now. It's not going to help you. Uh, get a Lemlist account first, then come back to this video. So um, once you have, now that I know that everyone here has a Lemlist account, um, you're probably pretty familiar with this stuff. Um, but uh, what you're going to do is go over here, go to settings, and um, I'm going to move this real quick. If you have two accounts, um, they're going to be here. So make sure you have selected the one that, um, what, what, what was I going to say? Uh, the, the seat that you want the email, the email campaign to go under, basically. So I'm going to click that. All right. So now here. Click new campaign. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So what I'm gonna do here is let's just go realtor one from CSV file. And so I I'm going to let's see here. Go over here. I drive. All right, let's go with, actually, um, let's, okay, I have a ton of contact lists, so I just want to make sure I have the right one. So uh, if you don't have a lead list like this, um, I would suggest making one before you create a campaign because you're going to need this lead list to... Uh, to roll out your campaign basically. So I uh, want to sell your listings quicker. That's what I'm going to say for all of them. Personalization. I think I'm just not going to worry about personalization. Uh, and say the same thing for everyone. I don't need this section either because it's going to be the same for everyone, but whatever. Um, we're going to do that. And then to save a Google Sheet as a um, CSV file. Um, so basically to save a Google Sheet um, to be able, uh, for, for Lemlist to be able to read it, um, you go down to file, download, um, and then CSV, .csv, com comma separated values. And you'll see that it just populated down there. So now we're gonna go back to Lemlist. We're gonna browse files. We're going to go to downloads and we are going to look for all first Weber real estate or uh, realtors.csv open and it will go into here. So first name, last name, subject line. So subject line, I'm going to, oh, okay. No, that's, that's good here. Uh, email. Yes. Personalization, yes, that's perfect. And next. And if you want to add multiple CSVs, you can obviously do that too. Um, and do you want to enrich your leads from Lemlist? Um, chances are you're gonna say no, unless you have the the more um, premium version of Lemlist, but I don't think it's necessary unless you're focusing on LinkedIn outreach. 
So here you're going to say, no, thank you. Do you want to import leads that are already part of another campaign uh, from your team? Okay, so this is if you have an existing campaign, you want to uh, transfer leads over to this new campaign. Maybe uh, if you want to merge a campaign, you want the settings from this new campaign. Um, maybe you want to do this, but I don't want to. So I'm going to say no. Let's import your CSV now. So that's the amount of leads I have in my uh in my google sheet okay so a thousand leads will be added 68 will be ignored 67 are duplicated in your csv that makes complete sense one lead is duplicated in another campaign this is awesome <laughs> this is absolutely awesome to hear um because i I knew that there were a lot of duplicates because um, the way that I um, accumulated my um, my leads, it was it was kind of an interesting process. So I'm not surprised that I got a lot of bounced um, bounced leads. So that's not a big deal. So I am going to go ahead and continue here after I get this freaking thing out of my way cancel that's always so scary all right continue uh during your campaign do you want to synchronize your updated leads to serum no thank you um they have a really good data analysis like of uh open replied interested uninterested so do you want to uh, let's uh you know what this is this is interesting because you can create a um a schedule or you can this is distracting me so bad right now um i'm gonna try to get rid of it okay last time it said are you are you sure you want to exit okay so do you want to ex um i want to do an existing one because i have one in my other account uh or in my other uh campaign that i want to uh put in here but you can just create a new one and um and yeah something like this will pop up i just want to kind of make everything a little bit faster um start at 9 a.m and at 6 p.m that's perfect um and now next now this is the email that um that is going to be associated with the campaign so I want this one. I don't want that net. So I or dot net. So I'm gonna do uh, dot info. And yes, next create your sequence. This is perfect. Um, and now, obviously, you can see my my leads imported uh, in this review section. So what this review section is is well, I'll get I'll get to that kind of in order. So leads is where all of those leads just went. All of those a thousand leads that were uh, 1068, some of them got bounced. So now they're a thousand. So you can see down here, it's actually kind of cool that it's exactly a thousand. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about that, but I think that's kind of funny. All right. So sequences, this is where all the magic happens. So right away, I'm going to, you can create, um, they have some pretty neat uh, email templates, but I don't really like going with those because I have a little bit of a specific layout that I like to follow and I like to just create it myself. It's, it's, it's the fun, uh, it's the fun part of this, this whole um, experience. Getting these leads kind of sucks. Um, getting lemless setup kind of sucks. This is where we can kind of be creative. Uh, so this is, um, this is the part where I kind of like to, uh, just have fun with. So I'm going to come back to you after I get some, I don't know, uh, f figure out a good way to word this. All right. So this is kind of what I came up with so far. Um, Hey, realtor's name. Um, I saw your, uh, uh realtor for first Weber. How has the market been treating you? My name is Max Crone. I go to uh, go to school at uh, University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. This is important right here because 
um, all of these thousand realtors are all in Wisconsin. So they know about, uh, they know that I'm not just some company from LA trying to get their business. Um, and I have started a media agency specializing in videography and paid ads. I have a passion for real estate and so have focused in on that niche. So it gives me a reason why, um, why I'm reaching out to them gives me a reason why I'm focusing on that niche. It gives them um, what I do. And, um, and then down here, I said, I would love to have a really quick chat about how I can help you get more qualified leads in the next four weeks. So this is important. There, there are a couple things here. So you need to have an offer, you need to have um, a time frame, and, um, and you basically have to have a call to action. So a call to action offer and time frame uh, wrapped up and I don't know, just in a, in a quick, concise sentence. Um, this is probably all I'm going to say. And then I'll add my signature. And then I'll add here. This is where those uh, these first name, last name, subject line, email. This is where uh, those come into play. So, hey. And then what I'm going to do here is custom variables. And then first name. And then... It populates right there and for here I can do where is it subject line and that'll populate there so all these things in these brackets will just populate straight from your sheet this is something that uh, I have set up just through my account um, so that's something that you can figure out um, but yeah other than that Oh, okay, so I'll save this. And then um, you can A-B test it, which honestly, I'll probably do. And I'll probably just A-B test the subject line um, with keeping the, the actually, you know what, I'll probably change the, the meat and potatoes here and keep and uh, keep the subject subject line the same. In my previous campaigns, I've been doing pretty well with the with the subject line that I um, that I have. Basically, it's just, do you want to increase your revenue? Or do you want more qualified leads? If you ask a question, they're like, hmm, like, do you have an answer in here? Uh, is that what I'm going to be finding when I open it up? So I don't know if that's helped, but I have like a 70% uh, open rate. So I would like to, uh, I'd like to stay with that. But then what you do is add new steps and I'll do this later and probably make an additional video on it. Um, uh, I would add new steps. I'd probably do, uh, I'll just do this just so you can see what happens. Then you, um, do email call for whatever, and then you can increase this day by however many. And then, um, it's going to ask me to, yeah, I'm sure I want to leave without saving. So schedules, this is what you set up as you set up the, the initial campaign, right? When you created the campaign, you set this up. Um, but you can change it in the schedules tab settings. Um, yeah, just the, the email address that, uh, you want to associate with, uh, with sending them out and then review. This is the, the juicy part. Um, this Deb Daniels at first Weber, it'll say to Deb Daniels. It'll use her email that I had in here. Um, want to sell your listings quicker. I think I'm going to change that back to um, want to increase your revenue because honestly, that one worked really well. And it says, hey, Debbie, I saw uh, your real... And then this is just my whole, whatever it's called. Then they can click on this link tree. It'll take them to my link tree. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, in, in the pre... Or in the, in the second email, maybe third email... I might say, "Hey, Debbie Daniels, um, comma," and then I'll I'll say my email or or I'll, I'll insert my email, um, etc. So you can kind of be creative with it. Um, this is always the fun part for me. Um, it, yeah, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, I hope that this video was insightful for you. Um, oh, one one uh, quick 
blur before uh before i let you go so the way that you actually roll this out and um and get it basically just get it uh get it going is this play button here your campaign is running click to pause so i'm gonna click to pause um even even if i had that played it wouldn't matter because um i haven't reviewed any of these yet so i need to manually go through all of these before uh before um basically they uh they start getting emailed out but as soon as you I should I should clarify. As soon as you review a lead, it's going to be uh, scheduled to send. So that is pretty much that. Um, I'm going to keep this on pause because I'm going to do lots of modifications to these. This was basically just an example of, um, yeah, how uh, how I set up a lemlist campaign. So hopefully, you got some good um, good insight. And um, don't forget to subscribe, uh, turn on the bell notification, feel free to like, comment, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.